Well, hey guys. So uh, this is today's project. What we have here is the the Traxxas Stampede. It was the Bigfoot, which I took the body and put on something else, right? And made it the Cloudbuster uh, Bigfoot. So what we have on here is a two-wheel drive Stampede with the uh, really crappy monster truck tires that would probably not do very well in snow damn little bugs um anyhow what i have purchased is a set of paddles and uh there i went with the um full across paddle i don't know if these little things will do anything but these big ones should have enough grip but what i'm doing is i'm gonna put these paddles on the back of this which is still running the the Titan 12 turn still and then I'm gonna try to shoehorn this thing in underneath there I don't know I paid 20 bucks for this so I don't know if that's a good deal or not you gotta remember that's Canadian so 20 bucks is like $16 almost $17 US at local hobby shop too I did not order this online this is from RC Hobbies which I believe is in Regina I believe. See that or Saskatoon, but the, that's a um, different store, I think. But anyhow, on this truck, I have the um, body post mount set, which uh, I'd take the front end apart to put that in there. Uh, it was not very fun. So I'm wondering how much of the rear end I got to take apart to put this in there. But with the wheelie bar on there, it'll be uh, a lot better. And hopefully it doesn't like sink right away and then the wheelie bar ends up being like a boat anchor behind it but i think it'll be good and then if i ever upgrade this the brushless system um it'll need it <laughs> quite quite frankly i do have one more surprise on the way but it is not here yet so i'm um, doing this first and then we'll do the next thing when it arrives which i have no idea when it is because shipping in the u.s right now is really slow i ordered a new um cylinder for a chair and it took from October 26 to November the 7th to arrive at the trans uh, global transportation hub in the United States uh, must have went by buggy horse and carriage I guess but oh well um, I also have some trusty tools when I was in Minot last I was at the hobby shop down there I think it's Aeroport Hobby because it's at the airport and lots of airplanes and stuff. And this is the standard set, like the, um, the tools and everything. Inside the, the Green Army Box of Doom there, I have my batteries and my charger and my other set of tools. But these are standard. Um, or is this the metric one and the standards in there? I can't remember. This is probably the metric. Yeah, metric one, because the standard, the, all these uh, tips up here, I think, are red. But anyhow, I have both sets. That's what I'm trying to get across. So anyhow, I'll uh, work on this some, and then uh, do some updates as I go along. Well, all right here, just going along. Anyhow, this turns out to be pretty easy. There's um, some pretty good instructions here, and I'm quite happy about it. Uh, quite literally. This was the guard that was on the back of the transmission that, you know, I usually grabbed it by that and lift it up. Well, turns out there was a one long screw, one not so long screw, and on the other side, stick it in over here, this little itty bitty guy. And then this thing has grooves inside and it just pulls off the back. From the looks of it, this is a four position uh, wheelie bar, by the way, too. It is even better. So this slides on, and then you just screw it back into place. I'm not sure why they give you new screws, but they do. And so I'm like, okay. Uh, so this slides on and back in. Um, to get to the lower transmission bolts over here, well, screws, whatever, you have to take this wheel off, or else you're like on an angle like this trying to get it on a straight one you know so not so good times but um i had to take the wheels off anyhow speaking of wheels dun 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 so this is the 
of the paddle wheel and that's the old wheel. And as you can see, not too much difference. <laughs> um, a lot bigger rim, but Traxxas likes to cheat. See the inside? Oh no, they're the same! <laughs> uh, another one that Traxxas uh, cheated on like that, well really bad with, was the slicks from the dragster because I used to have a set of four of those I had on the SEX10 for yeah, a couple tries and then realized how bad no no grooves are. <laughs> uh, if you were making a racing rig or drag racing rig or something like that on pavement, it probably would have been okay, but nope. And yeah, they had really small inside, but you just flip the tire around the back and the, the rims all the way up to the sidewall. I'm like, okay. That's cheating. Makes it firmer, right? Because I can't squish this tire all the way down without leaning. <clears throat> I, I think it's got to do with like going around certain turns and stuff like that. Because when you go around the turn, it could lean in. But the, the inside always has your back. So you always got some traction of some sort. I don't know. But anyhow, uh, time to get this back together. And then we'll, uh, we'll uh, show you what it looks like with the wheelie bar on. So there we go. Looks a lot meaner. So yeah, the, the instructions were pretty clear. You know, like take those two screws out. There's where the new ones go. You put the other one back. The screws are exactly the same. Now, I don't know if it was because I'm watching uh, Pure Living for Life. They're making their log cabin house or what. But I grabbed the wrong screw and started putting it in and realized I wanted to go put the one on this side that um, there wasn't exactly enough room because the other screw was almost sticking all the way out. So I backed it all the way out. I'm like, what the heck? You know, like, this looks like a really nice new screw. Did I grab the wrong one? Sure enough, you can see the little rust mark there. If it focuses, which it won't. There. And that's how I knew I had grabbed one of the old screws. They are the same length, so it's nice that they include some new hardware in case while you've chewed up the heads or something like that. But um, yeah, 34 millimeter, 30 millimeter, and a 12 millimeter. Um, here's how the wheelie bar works. So it depends on how much you want to tip it. And from experience, oh, well, there are the wheels come off the back, and that's how. Hmm. From experience, when I had the uh, Ford body on there, um, it doesn't really do that, but it more of like just picks up the front and then it would come back and sit on the bumper of the Ford body. And I'm like, no, I don't know well, I don't want to wreck it. Right. Um, so here's the old protection bar and here's the new hotness. The best part is you can just snap this back down. <laughs> like, there we go. So four positions. So lowest, second, third, and fourth if you just want it up out of the way, I'm assuming. So let's go with that one for now because I don't want it to grab too much. Um, uh, this is probably going my thing of Traxxas parts or whatever. Along with the screws, I'll put them in a little baggie. But do that. Um, you can see on these... Uh, post here because I had um, a different body on here I have the Chevy body it was a little too close to the edge on one of these things here so I had to yeah, do some fine tuning to get that into place so these body post things if I can get this to line up right the heck is it? oh, it's over there all right, so like these things are nice, right? Like your body's on there, it's secure, it's not coming off. And then uh, the best part is it's a nice flat underneath here. Don't focus. There, that's nice and flat. So you're not going to hurt your body. It's not going to get full of lines in it, like from where the um, R pins and that sit. But every time you want to change the battery on this, you got to undo them all. Pull this body off, go for the battery pack there. 
which by the way, because I have my batteries here, I think I'm going to try shoving a uh, two cell lipo in there and uh, see what I can do. Uh, I'm going to look it up to see this XL5. If it, you know, you can actually see what it says instead of reflection. Um, I'm going to see if it'll take a three cell because I hear these things can get pretty wild. And then um, you can upgrade this to a brushless system and it's even more wild. <laughs> Well, anyhow, that's it for this one. Hope you guys enjoyed. Uh, I'll see you guys next time. And um, yay, tracks is fun times. Lipo fit. Ha <laughs> ha, open death. <laughs>